Booya. Good morning, good evening, long time no see. I'm back after being MIA. I am the Mr. Pfeiffer with my co host, the one that only matters at this table besides me. I like your bucket hat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's to protect Dude, my. Uh, You're just taking up space. My it's man to, Gilligan. <laughs> it's to protect my, uh, my hair transplant stuff so that way I'm not getting sunburnt. Oh, that's what, it, that's what it is? Yeah. Oh, all right. You guys want to address the uh, elephant in the room? What's that? That card that was fucking uh, horrible. Let's talk about half scores. Dookie. Go ahead. What's <laughs> <laughs> Definitely an elephant. <laughs> Go ahead. My nah. fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know who the fuck was asking about yesterday, Sean? <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nah, right, nah, that, nah, that really wasn't. Yeah, that's about about to say, say. About to say nobody nah, or something. Nah, it really wasn't. <laughs> I ain't telling you now because it is funny. He called me. All right. I'm going to just go uh, for it because I, I, I want to hear it. I, nah, I think you got boy. The old coach. Who? We'll, we'll talk about that off air. <laughs> nah, he's fucked my joke up. I was going to say nobody. He's got me. <laughs> <laughs> I, had play, I had to play. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, there's not too much to talk about last weekend. That card was... I did not do well. I didn't put you guys in. They didn't put up my stats, but I don't think I did well. I think I'm. I Bro, that card ended at like. I, three no, I think you did like you went like six and three or something. They actually did like pretty good. I only had a couple picks on there. I think I went like two and three. Here you go. That shit was ass, bro. It, it was. I, I, it was bad. Uh, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Some of these cards, bro, they're fucking. They're bad. Was like, it anything good? I can't. I, it was anything. I, the main oh, event yeah. with a knock. The knockout was nice. That's the only fight I seen. Main event wasn't a knockout. The main event was knockout. TKO. It's, TKO. So well, he hurt no, him by so, taking him down uh, yeah. from the back. His knee. Like popped yeah. out when he went down. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I and I heard he lost. I heard. I heard he lost. I didn't watch it, bro. I heard he lost the round before that. Yeah, Perez. You can't put round. on a ten a ten p.m. Eastern oh card for the fucking <laughs> apex, brother. I'm not staying up till one a.m. in the morning yeah. to watch that shit. We like, were watching it. That main we event came on at like ten. It was late, bro. Bro, I left. I what, what fight did we watch? I watched one fight that I wanted to fighting. see. I who was on? Nah, I wasn't too close. Oh, that was way before. That was way before. That was like three. When I got there, it was two girls fighting, and, and now the only fight I wanted to watch on there was. Damn, I don't even know. I don't remember. No, yeah, it really was a trash card. It was uh, Jimmy Flick and Nate Maness, and I thought Nate was going to knock him out, and then Nate just kind of like jabbed him up for three rounds. Um, but this weekend, we got some good fights. Very exciting. We had a little mix-up. Uh, Igram is now fighting Robert Whitaker. Yeah. Igram was supposed to be fighting last weekend. And, um, yeah, Hamza Chmaev is sick. He is out of his fucking fight, which kind of sucks. But Let's... for Robert Whitaker, this is just like, it's just a change of a name because they're essentially the same person. Right. Like, they're both very good grapplers. They both hit hard. Um, and they're both dangerous. So I don't think much changes for Whitaker. Now for Ikram for, to come in here and potentially beat the number three or four guy in the world if he does it. I mean, that'd be huge. He skips the top 15, the top 10, right to the top five. Mm -hmm. With all that being said, I'm picking Robert Whitaker to win. Why? Huh? Why? Robert Whitaker's been training for a five-round fight. He's been in Saudi Arabia for at least, I'm assuming, a few weeks. Ikram flew from wherever he's from to Vegas, found out, had to fly from Vegas to Saudi Arabia. This shit all plays huge factors. And he was getting ready for a three-round fight, not a five-round fight. I agree. Uh, having been five rounds and got my ass handed to me, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, the veteran experience here. I know he's 15 and one, and I think he's good. Um, definitely don't think that it would be surprising if he could clip him and get him out of there. But when you're talking about five rounds, this guy is built for five rounds. Yeah, Whitaker style is built for five rounds. Yeah, I'm gonna go the other way because I think there's a competition here that we did not address. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't tell you the rules. I will post them, but I know it's like uh, about our picks. Daddy Picks wants us to do a competition where we can see who gets the hits, the, the most hits. Mm -hmm. Does that mean just put out bullshit? Ain't gonna be. Nah, good. I'm not putting out bullshit. I do think. I do think. Nah, it, I think nah it, I'm not saying this. Oh, is, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm like, do the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I listen, man. I need that two hundred dollars. <laughs> it's a two hundred dollar cash prize. Whoever comes out with the best picks and the highest. Uh, I forgot how they worded it, but I All feel right. like I'm, I'm going with the most well. underdog. Winner. You're going with who? Yeah, Winnaker. 
I'm going with Icarus. Icar? I'm going the other way. I think I think Icarus can make it very boring. I think he can hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> What's he the going with? What was that? He said Winter Winter. This fucking dude. Uh, get, what do you say? He, 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 he said was, Winokur. Winokur. Oh, Winokur. <laughs> yeah. hey, well, how do you say it, Sean? Whitaker. Whitaker. You, so you both said Whitaker like that. I you said know? Whitaker. <laughs> I just, just, I, just like I, did. I pronunciated it so you could understand a know. T from an N. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, <laughs> Joe Piper's Italian. <laughs> Piperlini. How you doing? <laughs> Take this next one, Joey. Yeah. Hold on real quick. Before the camera came on, Sean cooked me with a picture. Talk about some, yay, mom. Came on with the ham and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sergey Pavlovich, Alexander Volkov. Mm. Uh, interesting. Both Russian. You don't really see that too. They're often. friends. It looks like uh, they, they cousins. Yeah, ship. yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely cousins. Um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Volkov. I think that he's gonna be able to use his length. I'm not personally a big fan of Sergey. I like that he like throws hard. Obviously, he can get that knockout, but I think technically, I think Volkov is better everywhere. So, Volkov. Um, I'm going to pick Sergey, but I'm going to pick Sergey by finish because the odds essentially either either Sergey's going to win in the first round and a half or he's going to lose. So, I think the odds for him by finish are even they're better than him just straight up. So, that's it's either he's going to win in the first round and a half or he's going to lose. Like that's like yeah. he's either going to knock out Volkov or he's going to get jabbed up and. Um, you don't think Volkov yeah. could potentially uh, almost like grapple him a little bit? I think he could after the first. He's going to gas if it, I, if I he am going Volkov. If too. he doesn't get the first round, if he doesn't get the the first round finish or even like the early second round, I could definitely <laughs> see him getting gra grappled Lush, up. Yeah. Uh, I don't you. see him hitting him out in the open, but I I can't see like a dirty bo boxing punch, like a clinch, like yeah. a like a dirty uppercut, like a DC drone or something. But if he can't get to that, but I I see Sir, like Sergey's last fight was who. When he got smoked by Aspinall, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. I can see him coming in here with like a little bit of a mm -hmm. chip on his shoulder, and you've seen Volkov get knocked out like a few times. So, speaking of chips on their Sergi. shoulders, <laughs> who's got a chip on their shoulder? Kelvin Gaston's going to come back with a chip on his shoulder. I believe he is going to come back with something to prove. Yeah, that well, who are you picking in that fight? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sergi. Sergi. So, but yeah, I just read Gaslam's thing. He said it's a do or die fighter for him or something like that. <laughs> Laugh, what's going on? <laughs> what I missed today? <laughs> no, I, I, no I, honestly, I honestly do think he's going to come back. Uh, with the way he said his name, <laughs> Sergi or or Gaston? He's a Gaston. What I say? Yo, defend yeah. yourself, man. Ah. I say Gaston. It doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think I just want yeah. to be as relaxed as Sean's collar, bro. That's I think all. I think that's that's bad joke. No, uh, <laughs> super I think bad joke. I think Kelvin is going to come in like you said with a chip on his I shoulder. So. I think uh, people forget that Kelvin has really good striking, but I definitely think he has the advantage in the grappling. I'd like to see him go back to that. I think he'll be able to take D Rod down, and I think um, I think that kind of should be his game plan to mix in the takedowns here. And it's going to be southpaw, southpaw. So a lot of D-Rod's weapons that usually work on orthodox fighters won't be there. And um, that's where I think he gets a lot of guys caught up. And it's just not going to be there with Kelvin. So I think I was actually, did you see, I, I told you I just saw a video that I ended up watching with him. But th that's also part of the reason is I do believe sometimes when you take a loss, it wakes you up to certain things. And I think he was mentioning in the video, like, he, he needed to get back to his base, which yeah. was wrestling. He yeah. said he loved wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. And he kind of got exposed yep. in his last fight. Like, I haven't been training yep. my strengths. Yep. So I do think if he comes in and he uses that against D-Rod, yeah. I think he can make yeah. a I think D-Rod's going to stop him. I think Aslam is so He's never been up. knocked out ever. And he's fought Jarrett Cannonier, all these guys. He's definitely not getting he could. Only way he's getting finished is if he gets submitted. He's okay. definitely not getting knocked out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the veteran, too. Uh, I'm just not... The, like, the last couple that Daniel uh, D Rod had, I just, I don't yeah, know, it wasn't anything that I would, uh, and D Rod's 37 or 38. Yeah, I, I'm going Kelvin. I think he's got the veteran experience, and he even said that he's fighting for his job. They, yeah, he said that. Yeah, I think his pride, you know, ego, and you think he on the chopping block? No, he said he, he said, loser goes home after this. He okay. said, if I lose, I go home. He said, if D Rod loses, hit, hit the bricks. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I like that. Fighting for your job, baby. Go ahead, Joey. What's these next boys' names? Muhammad Naimov and Felipe Lima. Uh, this is I've a late, seen, late replacement, right? Late Felipe replacement. Uh, but I've seen Naimov fight. That dude's a little spark plug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Muhammad just based on uh, what I've seen and him being explosive. 
Who I did think he that's have a hard fight for anybody to. Uh, oh. Uh, a hard fight for anybody. Who do you originally have? Ma- Masik uh, Bagdasarian. Yeah, that would have been. No, I like that. Would've been, I like that. I was looking forward to that fight. Yeah. That would have been. What happened? It, you know what happened? Nah. I think he posted something. Some maybe like an injury or something. I could be wrong. Okay. There's a lot of cancel fights on this. I'm picking Muhammad as well. Anybody familiar with Felipe Lima? Where this must have just happened within the last year. Short notice guy. I about to say I, I just looked this up the other day and it was still uh yeah just it literally just, just happened. happened okay uh it looks like he was fighting for that octagon show which is supposedly pretty good so mm-hmm. he got oh co- with the, spelled with a k yeah a couple yeah, 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 couple yeah, yeah. brave fights in there what's brave another another like a Russian league motion? yeah okay. they're, they're big over there got you Johnny Walker Vulcan Uzdemir I'm going Jaywalk baby I think he can right, get the finish I think they both. Have question not questionable chins, but their durability isn't top notch. But I think uh, Johnny's a freak. He's a big dude, and I think uh, the path to victory is obviously knocking out Volk. Who? What was Johnny's last fight? That thing with the eye poke, Magomed Ankalov. With yeah, that, Ankalov. with the eye, with that eye poke, right? Remember well, they they ran it back, right? They fought, yeah, and, they and then they back. fought again, and then he got TKO. Yeah. The, yeah. the first uh, fight, right eye poke. Second fight, Ankalov. I'm taking. Oh Volk. yeah, yep. Yeah. Like. Crippled him. Volk on here. Remember, he yeah, like broke his nose say. after he dropped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ugh. You're you're taking Vulcan. Who's the mirror? I'm gonna pick Johnny Walker by. You know how to fight. I'm gonna take Felipe. Knockout. You take Felipe. <laughs> Have to. Why? Two hundred dollars or win or some bullshit, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are some degenerates. <laughs> you know, listen. Oh. <laughs> You know I'm a fucking degenerate. You're just some degenerates. <laughs> Take this next one, Joey. Your weight class. Sharon Putin Magomedov versus Joyton or Joyalton <laughs> Santos. He's 38-9. He's short notice. Brazilian guy. Mm-hmm. 14 what's his, KOs. What's his last name? Because mine says Santos. Mine says Lutterbach. I'm serious. Yeah, I've seen that. That's on tap, though. That's yeah. on tap. Um, I think it's his nickname. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, Joyalton Santos. He's got 14 KOs, 13 subs. That right there is why I'm going with the short notice replacement, uh, Santos. I was extremely under impressed, even with my shitty grappling skills, with how Magomedov got taken down by a kickboxer and had no idea how to get off his back. So, yes, he has KO capabilities, but I'm going to go with a guy that's got 14 subs. I'm going to ride with you because um, <laughs> I don't know too much about that guy, but it seems like you did your research. And from what I've seen from... Shara or whatever his name is. Great on the feet. Great on the feet. Horrible on, on the, the ground. Yeah. He's getting grappled up. Yeah. yeah. So it, um it's kind of crazy because like I said, they don't necessarily the dude with the 14 submissions, uh I'm sorry, let me say his name. Joe and Luderbuck. Um he's not really a submission artist. He's no. really like a kick he, he fought on glory. Like he's a kickboxer karate guy. But he's just out here catching submissions. Yeah, I guess karate this combat. Dude, he fought dude, in showers. You got the Jose Soto eye? Is that yeah. What you got? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> for sure. But yeah, he's a kickbox. He's like a, right. a striker. I, I don't know. Where the, the 14 submissions game. Going to be, going to be him, interesting man. to see. Um, but, damn, my bad. Just to say who I... I'm going to go with Lud- Ludabak as well. I'm going Shara. Fuck it. I'm right, going Ludabak. I am. I'm going Ludabak. Next up. They're going to rip us for that. We got you the junior mind. Kelvin Gastelum versus Jarrett Gordon. Nazareth. I'm not saying they're the same person. They are. But, I've never seen them in the same place at the same time. We will see. If anything falls through with this fight, <laughs> these motherfuckers are the same person for sure. They look like in the picture. Look at this shit. Cousins. Who are you picking, Joey? That's a tough one for me. I, I'm Jared Gordon doesn't do anything that like I care to watch, but he kind of stays the same the whole mm-hmm. time. Jarrett knows how to win. Nazrat kind of, yeah, he, he's, he like, he'll, he'll make it a dog fight. Nazrat's kind of like good sometimes on the feet and other times he's just getting his ass clipped. Um, and Jarrett's an underdog. I'm going to pay, that's going to be my, one of my underdog picks. Yeah, I think I would have to go with Jarrett Gordon. I'll be going the other way on that. I'm going with Nazrat, but crazy little fact about Jarrett Gordon, his grandfather is Jake LaMotta. Really? Bro? Yeah. That's no, his grandfather. Who's Jake LaMotta? He's a heavyweight I'm, boxing I'm, champ. I'm, old school dude. I think he's going to roast me. I'm joking, dog. It's nah, like, actually, nah. who the fuck is Babe Ruth? Right, Fucking great man, I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Jake Lamont is? Nah. One of the greatest it's ever, right. dude. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, man. Really back when you were allowed to punch. Once you, were, you used to be allowed to punch motherfuckers on one knee in boxing back in then. He was the king of that shit. Damn. Can you even get down on one knee? Yeah, I did. How bad does it hurt? It's all right. <laughs> it takes a while to get up. <laughs> 
Bernard, Bernard, Bernard Fakradino versus Nicholas Dalby. That's my dog. Which Who? one? Dalby. 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 I'm going Dalby, bro. I just I've seen him get taken down too he's easily by know, other guys. He's a dog. He is a dog, but I think he's gonna be a dog on his back. Because yeah. you know, you know, remember the fight with Bombfeem? Yes. He was getting taken yes. down. And he did not get discouraged though. That yeah, motherfucker got true. up every time and then knocked him out. I just think Renat's gonna win the first two rounds and then maybe get beat up in the third, but I think it might be too late at that point. Yeah. Because Renat did show like against um the dude that Randy fought last um, uh, Ezekiel Los Santos. Santos. He was mauling him and then he got, he got, got KO right got, or no he got dropped he got dropped and then um with like a liver with a liver kick I think and then um was getting pieced up on the ground it was a draw mm. so it, he um he didn't win but he didn't lose but it was close. Speaking of so Randy, speaking of you. <laughs> we're literally just talking about you. <laughs> What's up, dog? Holy good, good shit! I don't even know if I've seen you since. Gene uh, Shorts, Ferrari timing came in. What's Congratulations. up, Congratulations! Congrats, kid. How y'all doing? Good, good brother. Good, How are good, you? Good, good. good. I'm disturb y'all show. I just heard Renat. Just tell y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Renat, right? There he is. Uh, yeah, I think Renat's gonna make it a very good fight. I think he's gonna just nut hug him. I think he'll just be holding him down. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'm going other way. Yeah, I'm going or not. Hey, not has got he's got power though too. He's why does that like a cruise? <laughs> this I do not know these two dudes. I don't know if someone wants to take a gang at Kung it. Ho. I'm not going. I'm not going that way. I'm going with that Munin Gafarov dude. Uh, he's actually a pretty good grappler, but he's got some power in his hands. I think he's. Got a better chin. I think he's just an all-around better athlete. Looks like Wolverine. I think the other guy's a little too stiff. He kind of waits a lot. So, okay. Um, that's my opinion. I'm going with uh, the gaffer up. I'm following yeah, you, Joe. So yeah, he's, you you I, do not I've have to him. pick if you, if you don't want to put one out there, but yeah, I have nothing there. Yeah, I'm kind of on there. But I've seen, I know what, I know what Joe was saying about this dude. Anybody else? Uh, Those last two? Not no. much, man. Do I'm we have any, um, we got any fight news? or? I want to go back to Chemayev. Chemayev is... Sick. Sick. Any, have you heard anything else? Like I'm seeing, like the I rumor seen food of, poisoning, but that's just not food poisoning. He, what do you think is going on? What do you think that could possibly? I don't know. It just seems like every time he gets close to a fight, something happens. Um, steroids, boy. He's got, he's got epizootis, bro. <laughs> listen, everybody. If they, I think everybody over there cheating. Talk know. your shit. Jeff. Would it be that possible? Yeah, I mean, bro. Wait, there's the, no. The, I think everybody over there is cheating, be, bro. They're dense. They're just. They're. I don't know. Like this is. motherfucker trains all of his life. He got a bunch of tattoos. I've trained all my life. There's no way that some of these guys are built the way that they're built. I get like genetics and everything like that, but some of these motherfuckers be straight up cheating, and they probably fuck up their gut health. So. Our our. Uh Joey's big on gut health now. <laughs> yes. Big, big gut too. health guy. Drink pro mix. <laughs> Our <laughs> free and probiotics. <laughs> Our testing system, like that, that it's American based. Uh, yeah, but I mean, they obviously go ev everywhere. But USADA used to go. I mean, same thing. They go everywhere. But it's there's definitely way people are definitely cheating. Like, and, and think about it like this: anything you do when big money's involved, people are going to find ways to cheat. Right. You know what I'm saying? So people are definitely cheating. I don't know who is cheating. But you know guys are cheating. Does that bother you at all in, in, in any matchups that you hear about? No, because like, it just means you're a pussy. No, but what I'm saying, I, like I've, I've spoken to you about somebody that we knew was like whatever. And you was like, I remember you was just like, like, yeah, like they're strong, but they break. Yeah. And it's like, you just got to get them to the point after they break where yeah. they realize like yeah. all that shit I put in me isn't working anymore. Well, it's just because it, my thing is like, if you have to take performance enhancing drugs, that just means you're not confident in who you are or your capabilities and your mind's weak. So if your mind's weak, your body's weak and if your body and mind are weak you're gonna break and then that just means that you're doing all that shit for no reason i'm not listen if uh if you're in a sport where there's no drug testing do whatever you want because yeah. everyone else is doing it right. you know what i'm saying but if you're in a sport where there's drug testing and it's illegal and you're doing damage to other people like you're a piece of shit yeah you're a true piece of shit so um fuck you well let's just call that a, a you know I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, not, wow, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not saying, how, but that's your opinion or that's your thought process on it. But I don't know. I, I think he's just sick. Like I think my man just he just he looked nah. fucked up in the hospital. They yeah. eat mountain oysters. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, they were talking about like, even like retiring. Where I was just like, damn. I was like, it was a rumor. It was just a rumor. He's not gonna retire. He's just gotta. He just gotta get healthy. All right. Like it just it sucks, but shit like that happens. Right. Right. Um, another thing we were talking about was uh, 
Izzy's back. It, they just announced Izzy versus uh, Drikas. Mm-hmm. He. It's funny because, like I said, he had just said the whole thing like, "I don't care for belts. Like I'm coming for yeah. belts." But then he gets the. T- Do you feel like that was wrongfully I think he, deserved? I think he deserves it. Besides, like, besides Strickland. My man had the most title defenses for however long. Like mm-hmm. he was a reigning champ. Like his he first fight, his loss. Yeah, he like I think he deserved deserved the shot. People are like oh he doesn't. And then Sean deserves it after that. So whoever wins out of these two, fight Strickland next. And that's that. I think it's fair. Yeah, that's you're well, like, you're welcome, I, Mick Maynard. I yeah. just did your job for you. I used to not not like watching Izzy early on, but I think. Uh, his days are numbered now. Like obviously, like you said, it's like I got all the belts and all that. I mean, I, I wouldn't even be surprised. I, I don't. I hope he doesn't, but I, I wouldn't be surprised Hangs if he retires after he, if he wins. Uh, I'm also going to pick that dude Magomed the, on the very bottom of that card. Uh, eight and oh? Yeah, the eight no guy oh, against right. the Ribeiro. That Ribeiro guy was on the uh, contender. Yeah, series. that wild knockout, right? That wild hook. Yeah, and shit. yeah. No, 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 no. That's the other Ribeiro. Oh, I'm, that's I'm, the I'm, middleweight Rivera that's Cla- you're thinking Claudio of. Oh, Claudio Rivera. Rivera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, any word on the, the McGregor shit? What was that about? I've heard himself. He got an injury. Did he? Yeah. So, not sure what that injury probably, was. Probably but. stabbed himself in the nose with the bill. <laughs> 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 uh, McGregor, uh, McGregor uh, give me one second. Let me check see if there's anything else going like on. like a fucking hummingbird and shit. Yeah, I was, wa- I was watching shit. baseball over the weekend, right? And, uh... This weird ass story popped in my head. What do you think about it? It was some play where Bryce Bryce Harper almost got smacked in the face with the ball, and the benches was about to clear out. It kind of just reminded me of Dagestani's Dagestani baseball. What do you think the rules would be? You, I know what it. Is. You can probably what <laughs> fucking throw it at people to get probably them out. get pitched in the face. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that's that in my mind. I was going all through it, like yo, like uh. You ever see how they play basketball? That's what I was thinking about. They just run down the court. Yeah, it's just like football. <laughs> <laughs> Remember slam ball? Yeah, that was yeah. like fucking slam ball. What if you had to grapple to do that first base to earn it? Oh, that's wild. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, <laughs> That'd be fucking lit, right? Oh, this was just announced too, as well, right? Or did, oh, no, that was the replacement, which we did not yeah. cover. So with with uh, McGregor being out, we got uh, Alex versus uh, Yuri. Mm-hmm. For I, jo- for Joseph's card, and then they obviously added um, that Brian- card was like going. <sighs> then they added Brian Ortega and fucking Diego Lopez. Let's Bro, quick quick look at that real quick, just to, just to wrap it up on that because that that is a, a exciting card to look through real quick. Um, I was, obviously Alex versus, versus uh, Yeri, but I hope uh, Yeri gets it back. Alex is fucking carrying the UFC a little bit, dog. Like that man is stepping up, Chama. Chama. Yeah. He just says Chama. He just says Chama to everything. Chama. Chama My man's sure. bank account is fucking fat. Think he's killing it? Fat. Hell yeah. Who's his manager, you know? Probably his coach. Probably Polinio. Probably Polinio. Polinio. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Where's he from? He's from this area? Connecticut. Oh, he's from, all right. Polinio. I'm saying that's when he, fought, when he was fighting in the region. He was always mm-hmm. living in Connecticut. Mm-hmm. He would come down and train with us. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... But yeah, they added Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. This, do you feel like that's a crazy, crazy step up? Uh, I think Diego Lopez is going to run through Brian Ortega. I agree. I don't know about that. We'll talk about it. We'll, 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 we can, <laughs> we can and, have and a And this general. was added to Anthony Smith versus uh, Carlos Uber. I'd like to see Anthony Smith grapple him up. I would too. Okay. I agree. And then obviously. I hope Jerry wins. I up. hope Alex Pereira wins. I got, this is our platform. Really? I do want to, I, I want to cover this on our platform. I just need you to explain what, what's your situation right now? My got, situation? Yes. My situation is me and Gilbert mm-hmm. agreed to a fight. We are just waiting for the contracts, but it is an agreed upon fight for mm-hmm. September 7th as a main event. Um, ooh, ooh. I did not leak my fight. <laughs> MMA Junkie posted it, so I just posted it and I seen uh, Gilbert talking about it. And then, it's um, not that deep. Yeah. But yeah. So it's all good. Um, but we're just waiting for our contracts. It's not till fucking September. So. Okay. Like the UFC has nineteen thousand cards before then. Okay. So, um, but yeah. So bet the house on Brady. All good <laughs> in the hood, my right. brothers. Well, uh, that is it. I hope. Hold I on, hold on. We what? gotta get some shout outs, cuz. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I did say. Sheesh. I did say that. Please handle that. Who do we have this weekend? I, I, I definitely want to use this platform to, to make sure our team gets some shine as well. We had uh, our K- teammates Liam Poole fight. Uh, we had Cash. Jay Watson fight. Cash. And then we had Kate DeFade. Kate June has been a. Hot, hot month. Like I said, we started Before off that, hot. Ben, 
Cash. Cash. Van Coyle, Igor. Yeah. Before that, Igor, 5-0. and oh. Next best thing in the welterweight division next to Ito. We got two killer-ass 170s coming up. Yeah. Cash it, <laughs> cash it. Both 5-0. and oh. Ash, I'm going to try to put their stuff up on the screen. If you can do anything, go follow these guys, follow their careers. Like I said, if you do not watch regional, regional promotions, this, this is the fastest way to get a glimpse of the guys that are the up-and-coming and they're on their way. So looking forward to Sign these guys in their careers. Quick shout out to all the followers, the people that are following us. And uh, it's a blessing to be on the show. Yeah, they ain't following because of you, They're bitch. following because <laughs> of me. Sean got the dick vein. They, neck, like I know. said earlier, you ain't ever Caesar. seen a vein in your He's life. Got Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Head. You have gravy Shiny for blood, you fucking Look at fat your knees. fuck. You can't oh, see your knees. Dry ass When's the last time you, you can't see your the knees? What are you talking on? about? You got them Unreal. dusty ass Crocs on, Strong white ass trash ass, ass bitch. I'm gonna let it run. <laughs> Yo, sign up for Steady Pick. California Dreaming Shoes. Say <laughs> <laughs> it.